Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Sal's Ketchup, this is Sandra, and we're here at the Skyfront VR stand on the EGX floor. And I'm gonna hand you over so that Sandra can tell you a little bit about the game. They're just setting someone up to play with now, which you can see on the screen, right over there. Right over there, yeah. Over to you. So, Skyfront uh, is a VR multiplayer first-person shooter game. Uh, we're currently in early access. Uh, we've been in early access for nearly a year now. Okay. Uh, and the feedback that we've gotten from our community on Discord has been really invaluable. So, we uh, currently have three maps, three game modes. Mm -hmm. And before we launch uh, fully on Steam, Byport, than the Oculus Store. We are also going to add one more map, one more game mode, and customization and progression as well. Okay. And we're going to have Steam Workshops, which is going to be really great. So people oh, cool. will be able to make their own maps. Oh, uh, nice. Yeah, that lives for a lot of creativity in zero gravity. So that's yeah, going to be yeah. pretty damn awesome. And currently, we are looking for about an late 2018, early 2019 full launch as well. Excellent. So at the moment, we're uh, Steam. Oculus based for the early access? Uh, uh, early access at the moment, we, we are, uh, you can play us on the Oculus headset, but we're not available on the Oculus on Steam, store. So you're yeah. on Steam. We're on Steam store and Viveport store. And Vive Point store. Yeah. So Steam and Vive Point for the early access at the moment. We can play on both access, uh, uh, both of those. It's only going to be on the PC side at the moment? At the moment, yes. Uh, however, if everything goes according to our plan with our full launch, uh, we would love to develop for PlayStation as well. Yeah, which a lot of people out there have uh, PSVR, so yeah, that would be a really great yeah, one as well. Yeah. Uh, it is a good idea as well. Uh, we like the idea of the... Um, map we just seen somebody sticking themselves to a wall there uh you yeah can literally you can grapple wall yeah. Sticks, <laughs> yeah grapple free locomotion along the walls exactly, as well yeah, yeah. and we've got a zero g pvp environment that's going on here um is it purely multiplayer? Is there also AI, AI bots and solo stuff that you can do? Yeah, there are AI bots. So, uh, but that's like not what we're aiming for people to yeah. actually have play. So we want this game to be a multiplayer. Um, at the moment, the majority of our player base is from the US and Canada. Yeah. Uh, so uh, in Europe, the majority of our players are from uh, VR arcades. Yeah. Uh, and one of the reasons why we're at EGX is to get the word out, kind of branch out to the European end user market yeah. as well, yeah. <laughs> I know quite a few uh, of my audience is American and uh, from Europe and from different places in the world, which yeah. is kind of cool. Awesome. Um, it's definitely one I'm going to check out on uh, probably Five Port or something else yeah. like that. Yeah. Um, and we'll see how it comes in development. So uh, it's, it's, it's. What other types of. I should say, we've got a grappling hook in yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, what other type of weapon choices are there that happen in, in terms of weapon selection? Is there progression routes and such, such as that? Uh, we don't have progression yet, but that's one of the things we're going to add before full launch as well. So yeah. progression and character customization. Character uh, customization, you always want to look your best in VR. Exactly, come on, who doesn't? You know, right? That's really personally important. Personally, I like the instant uh, diet. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that's really, a good. really good ability, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, we currently we have uh, seven weapons, including the thruster. So the thruster is what helps you move around. It's not a yeah. weapon per se, so you can't kill other people with it. But it is uh, an, an essential booster. part. Yeah, an essential part of gameplay. Yeah. And we've also got seven uh, special abilities. Uh, one of them is a lethal one. The other are defensive ones. Okay. Uh, so the player has quite a lot of uh, kind of wide. Yeah. Arsenal uh, at exactly. your command. Yeah, what th whatever their type of gameplay is. Um, and the maps that we have at the moment as well, uh, we have like they're in different sizes. So, for instance, our Egypt themed map is really good for team players who want to have, uh, you know, like a 5v5 match because there's a lot of space, there's a lot of places to have these really intense battles. Uh, the one that you're currently seeing is our Greece inspired map, which is our smallest. And uh, this is really good for uh, death matches where, you know, there might not be a lot of players. So, you have three players, you're still easily gonna find each other, get into battle, it'd be really great. Uh, Currently, our third map is inspired by Gothic medieval architecture, uh, which um, 
It has a lot of like towers, uh, bridges, things you can hide behind. So people who really like to like snipe out, you know, camp somewhere in a corner, that map is ideal for those, that kind of gameplay. Cool. And the fourth one that we're adding uh, is going to be a bit even tighter. So it really promotes uh, really intense, fast-paced gameplay because it forces the players to kind of be really, yeah, yeah, be really in, in it. Intensive, yeah. go for the kill. Yes, exactly. Well. I'd like everybody to go for the kill and try this out at some point. Uh, check the details down below. If you haven't subscribed already, the subscription button is somewhere. I don't know where you're looking at the moment because you could be looking anywhere. But check us out, subscribe, and more news to come. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.